you can still shop Amazon on a budget and I'm going to show you how. Hi everyone, I'm Amy with Eating Healthy, Spinning Less. In today's video, I really wanna just talk to you about Amazon. And I know that that doesn't really have to do with eating healthy, spinning less at all, but I think it's so important because it does have to do with our budget. Because when people go on a budget and they start Dave Ramsey and they're following these baby steps, they're like, oh great, can't shop on Amazon anymore. And that is not true. Amazon can still be a part of your life. I love Amazon, but I wanna give you some tips that I have implemented in my budget that allows me to purchase from Amazon and I think you're gonna like them. I think we just need to say that Amazon can completely wreck our budget. It is so easy to get on our phone, add things to our cart, tap a button, and all of a sudden it magically appears. And if you're a spender, you don't even care. It doesn't even affect you. You don't even feel the weight of the purchase until the end of the month when you realize either you're out of money or you used a credit card and you have a whole big old balance that you need to pay. And it just becomes a cycle. I really want to live out my year being intentional in all aspects of my life. I've said that a lot this year on YouTube. Amazon is one of those things that I want to be intentional about. And it's easy to say, okay, fine. I'll just set a budget. I'll just have a budget for Amazon and I'll stick to it. And it's so easy to justify going over your budget because you're not using cash. You're not physically giving anybody anything. You're just tapping a little button on, the, on your screen and it arrives and it's just so easy. So creating a budget is a fantastic idea that I highly recommend doing, but we have to figure out a way, how can we stick to that budget? So most people don't know that Amazon actually has a feature where you can add a budget to your Amazon account. You can literally go on and add money from your debit card to, it's kind of like a balance that, of money that you can spend. Now you have a sitting balance of money that you can spend on Amazon for that month. You can do it where it's automated, so every month it adds money to your balance under your Amazon account information, um, or you can add it manually. This is something that I did in the very beginning of budgeting because I thought that that would be it. That, would, that was the best plan. As soon as the balance turned to zero, then of course I didn't have any money. It also became a game for me like, ooh, if I didn't spend so much money, then I could save it for the next month to buy something bigger and better that I wanted. It worked for a while, but I have since then stopped doing that. And I'll tell you what I'm doing now here in a minute. It is a great method. I'm very happy that Amazon does offer that feature, but I wanna give you an even better tip than just that. I am going to take a sip of coffee. By the way, shout out to my merch shop. You can get this amazing Keeper of the Home mug. I'll put a link for you below. It's so cute, I love it. Okay, so here's what I do. I no longer add money to a balance on Amazon. I actually, throughout the month, so throughout February, I will add things to my cart that I want or I think I need. And then at the end of the month, when my husband gets paid and I have my March budget set, at the beginning of March, I actually will make a one-time purchase. That is how I do it. One time a month, Amazon ordering. So I am on Amazon throughout the month, but I'm not purchasing throughout the month. I just add stuff to my cart. And what I've noticed about doing this is oftentimes at the end of the month when I'm starting to look through my cart to decide, am I going to purchase any of these items in the month of March? I oftentimes delete half the stuff because I realize I don't need this. Why did I even think I needed it? No. I really only get the things that I feel like I can justify, like I'm going to be using this. Or sometimes I let things sit in my cart for months and then I realize at that point, yeah, I didn't need it. Or yes, actually that would be very beneficial for me so I will go ahead and order it. I love this system. It works so well for me. The best part about once a month Amazon shopping is you don't have to feel guilty about it. I have no guilt over what I purchased. The last week of the month is kind of hard for me because I don't 
spend any money except for groceries or gas because pretty much all of our spending categories are depleted by the end of the month. And I go, hmm, what am I going to do with my time when I have free time? Which is very, very minimal, by the way. Uh, I do spend a lot of time at the library. I tend to go on more walks. But the one thing that I do is I get ready for the new month and I start looking through my Amazon cart and deciding what to buy and what not to buy. So it actually is thrilling for me. I love this method. I never feel guilty about my purchases because they're budgeted for and I have allowed my mind to kind of sit on that item and really decide, is it worth my money to purchase that item? Is it worth my husband's time away to work to purchase that item? Is it worth my time filming these videos and working on my blog to purchase this item? I really do think about that. And, um, and I'm definitely more aware of my purchases and I think a lot more about them than just mindless shopping. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I bought for the month of February. If you like this video, if you want to see what I purchase on Amazon each month, let me know in the comments. That helps me to know what kind of content to create for my YouTube channel. So the first uh, item that I bought was gardening gloves. I needed a new pair of gardening gloves. I had been buying the Dollar Tree ones and they're terrible, <laughs> of course, because they're so cheap. My husband has the most amazing pair of deer leather gloves. He loves them. And I thought, I want something similar to that. I don't really care if they're deer leather, but I just really want a high quality gardening glove because I'm in my garden so much in the spring and summer. These are amazing. So they have a little bit of a glitz to them. They also come in a red. Now this is the best part. It has one of those touchscreen finger pads. So I'm always wanting to film or take pictures of my garden. When I have my gloves on, I always have to take my glove off to grab my phone and to touch the screen. Or if somebody calls me, I have to take my glove off. Now I don't have to. The other thing was this Velcro. I wanted to be able to Velcro my gloves to, so that they just felt more secure on my wrist, on my hand. So here they are, and I'm so happy with them. In the month of January, I purchased for myself a cast iron skillet off of Amazon. I purchased it with a glass lid. I love my cast iron skillet, but I have struggled a little bit with cleaning it. So I went ahead and purchased this. It's a chain scrubber. I have no idea what you call this. All of these items will be linked for you down below in the description box. There will not be a corresponding blog post. This is just in the description box with all of my links. They are affiliate Amazon links. They, that costs you no money, but I do make a percentage off the purchase through Amazon. So here you go. This helps with really getting in those crevices of your cast iron skillet and getting it clean. This was $7, so $6.99. And I like that it's round and I love the design. I'm so glad I have it. These are the Paula's Choice brand makeup pad removers, but I don't use them for makeup removing. I use them for my toner. They are a very, whoops. They are a very soft cotton. They are so soft. You just wanna rub your face on them. They're so, it's like a really good blanket. <laughs> but they really absorb the toner well. And I just love the way it feels on my face when I'm putting my toner on in the morning. And what I love about these ones is this bag. So this bag, they typically, the ones that are offered on Amazon, they have so many to choose from. I wanted ones that I felt like were high, high quality and I really wanted a good laundry bag with a zipper. These are really hard to find. Most of them just have a drawstring on top. This one has the zipper. These are so high quality. I went with the ones that were a little bit pricier than what I could have paid. These were $15 and you get 10 of these reusable pads. So after I use about five, I will wash this. I'll just zip this up throw it in my washer with my one load of laundry that I do every single day, and then I will let them 
air dry. So happy with this purchase. I was tired of always buying the little cotton swabs. I just felt like I was throwing my money away. Here, you're buying something to throw away. This is how I feel about trash bags. My husband is probably sick of me talking about it. I hate buying trash bags. I'm just buying something to throw away. It makes no sense to me. <laughs> Next, I bought these reusable gloves, but I have not opened this yet because I just got this in the mail and I did not know that it came with cleaning rags. How cool. It comes with, it looks like two microfiber cleaning pads. I'm really excited about this. Um, this is why I purchased these gloves. Look how long they are. When I am cleaning toilets, uh, I always clean the toilet and then I reach behind and I clean underneath the toilet. I am just so tired of my clothes touching the toilet, like my sleeve. So I wanted a long pair of gloves for cleaning and a long pair of gloves for my kitchen. So this is a two pack and it was $10. Let's just, Put a pair on and see how they feel. So I would need to take my sweater off. So pretend I didn't have my sweater on. Yay, actually it feels really good. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip off, which is what I don't like about the gloves that I currently have. I sat on this purchase for two months. Do I need them, do I need, or can I, I can just go buy, uh, you know, gloves like this at Dollar Tree. They don't have the long ones at my Dollar Tree. They just have the ones that like hit right here. And I keep getting water inside of them because my sink has the two sides. So I do soapy hot water and I wash my dishes and sometimes I get water inside my glove. Now I won't do that. <laughs> Next purchase I had to go get out of my refrigerator. It is this flip cap lid mason jar uh, handle and spout. And I love it. So we make a lot of lemonade or orange juice. I like to make a lot of iced tea for my kids flavored iced tea, and this is awesome. I love how sturdy it is. This thing can be totally full and you don't feel any give at all. It was very inexpensive. It's made for a wide mouth jar, and I knew I just had to have it for this summer because we make so much lemonade in the summertime with my kids, and I just really needed it. I'm so happy with that purchase. And then the last thing that I purchased off of Amazon for this month, I have not gotten in the mail yet, and it is a face scrubber. And I used to have one of these. I'll put a picture for you so you can see. I used to have one of these uh, in my earlier teenage years. My mom bought me one, and I don't know what happened to it. Obviously, I, I don't have it anymore. It got misplaced or thrown away, and I've just really missed it. I want to be able to have a deep cleaning of my pores, almost like I went and got a facial, and I feel like my washcloth doesn't always achieve that look for me. And so I'm really excited to get this face scrubber. Yeah, I just called? looked it up because I, I didn't feel like I was saying that right. It's a face exfoliator and I am thrilled. So I will use my Dime mask. So I haven't really talked to you about my skincare or what I use, but I use Dime beauty products. I actually will be featuring them in an upcoming video. And I love my Dime beauty. Their face scrub is phenomenal. I always feel like my face just feels refreshed when I use it, but I'm excited to use that exfoliator to really get that mask in my pores. So that is something that has amazing reviews on Amazon. I read a lot of reviews, thousands of reviews, and I'm expecting it to be amazing. <laughs> but like I said, haven't gotten it in the mail yet. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this different style of video and that you can still enjoy Amazon purchases on a budget. Well, as always, friends, I love making YouTube videos all about handcrafted recipes using fresh ingredients in everyday living. And don't forget, this girl is on a budget. I will see you all in my next video, friends. Bye-bye.